Hello everybody, this is General Yanis, and today I'm going to be looking at the Furtid Blow Drones, uh, giving you an analysis of the Furtid Blow Drone, and looking especially also how the speeders compare to the mower or, or the blight launcher configuration. The mower, of course, very favorite in the 9th edition, but what do we have now in the 10th edition? So with no further ado, let's uh, get started. So today, the 7th of April, um, this week I had a mirror uh, death card match, 2,000 points, and I can just say I was completely stomped. Uh, I was really destroyed in that, in that game. Uh, I tried a list with a Land Raider instead of a Rhino, but we used a heavy cover, heavy uh, dense load of, of, of World VTC uh, terrain, and the Land Raider couldn't go so many places. I took a couple of, of bad risks. Uh, I was also unlucky with the dice ended the evening getting also a parking ticket to to level it off everything so not a very not a very good uh, warhammer experience this week but congratulations to my opponent who played uh, who played uh, really well and it was really strong to see this uh, the plague marine combos but but when the plague marines my plague marines came out of their transport to take something out then they were a bit too exposed and the the enemy with his own plague marines could take my plague marines out and rolling hot or unhot with your Plague Burst Crawler Mortars makes quite a, a big difference. But today I'm looking at the Furtid Blow Drone and uh, uh, Mr. Coconut had a, a comment that about the, my, my videos where I propose different lists. And he says that as a new player, uh, the most intimidating part is which weapons to choose where you have a lot of options. And of course, this is something that I really focus on in this channel. Uh, so in this in this video, uh, I would be looking at the Furtid Blow Drone also to see what is the best uh, loadout for the Furtid Blow Drone. So we'll be looking at the data sheet, the damage output of the weapons, the durability of the Furtid Blow Drone, the uses and roles, and then overall comparison. Looking at the Furtid Blow Drone's data sheet, the Furtid Blow Drone is, a, is one of our, our Demon engines. Uh, it's a 90 point per model, so quite cheap at, at the moment. It has a, a nice movement, 10 inch move, and it has a fly keyword, so it's a bit, it's quite maneuverable. Toughness 9, and then the 5 plus demonic invulnerable save really could be quite important if you are shot by, by heavy weaponry. 10 wounds, it doesn't degrade, uh, losing wounds. Uh, 6 plus leadership and objective control 3 could be quite important also if you're trying to take some, to steal some, some objective from some uh, light infantry that only have OC1. Uh, the, there are three configurations. You can either have the flesh mower, which is the, the melee weapon, um, uh, or you can take uh, one heavy blight launcher, or you can equip it with two plague speeders. The heavy blight launcher has a 36 inch range uh, with lethal hits, six attacks, and it's quite nice profile against, especially marines with two, two wounds. The plague speeder, 12 inch range, two of those. So you have two D6 shots with a the Plague Speeder always auto-hitting and auto-wounding the infantry on a 2+, plus, ignoring the cover, uh, so that's quite nice, but only AP-1, one, 1 damage. Uh, and then the, the Flesh Mower now, uh, 10 attacks with, with lethal hits, uh, again also damage 2 weapons, so nice against Marines, AP-1 here. If you don't take the Flesh Mower, the, 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 the Fetid Brotron has the Plague Probe, uh, so that you have a three attacks in melee, so it's not as strong in melee if you don't take the, the flesh mower. Looking now at the weapons damage output for all these, uh, the four weapons that, that the, the Furtid Blow Drone have, and here you see a variety of targets, some typically simulating, and the, the, um, the numbers in the table uh, indicate the expected damage, for example the heavy blight launcher shooting at Necron warriors, uh, would would kill uh, two point two would do two point nine wounds so basically three Necron warriors killed four point seven intercessors and you can see there the commas are just decimal points and then here we can see the the plague speeders uh, they have an advantage over the heavy blight launchers for for enemy let's say um, chaff chaff horde type infantry the heavy blight launcher is better against intercessors terminators and also a bit. The, the vehicles, uh, it's, it's better with a heavy blight launcher. The plague speeder is not so efficient uh, with, uh, with, uh, against enemy vehicles. They are basically an anti-infantry weapon. The plague probe uh, does a little bit of, of damage here in, in melee, but not, not super strong, especially against, against vehicles. Let's say half, half a wound on a rhino. You can't really, really expect to do it much with a plague probe. And we see the, the flesh mower quite, uh, quite effective against, uh, against infantry. Uh, and then already uh, all across the vehicles uh, it can do 
it can do some damage. So let's say three wounds on a on a rhino uh, or or two wounds on a land raider, uh, and you can you can do six wounds on intercessors, so killing three with a flesh mower uh, drone. Uh, the, la the the last four four uh, uh, lines here they show what happens if we add the contagion with minus one save. Uh, then we of course increase uh, you improve the damage output. Uh, as you can see there, so with the flesh more you would be killing almost four intercessors uh, with the minus one save contagion. And in this table, I'm just uh, showing you the numbers. If we call, if we think that the the furtive blow drone makes a shooting attack, if it has a shooting weapon, then charges and do, does the melee damage. So shooting plus melee damage, the combined damage here. So we can see the the furtive blow drone with the speeders uh, and and going to melee can do a little bit, but it's more uh, effective against chaff infantry. So here you can see it can only, let it say, kill two intercessor types, marine equivalents, if it does the shooting and the melee. If we have the minus one save contagion, we'll be doing five wounds on average. You can see also the blight launcher, but probably the blight launcher you would like to have further back. It has a 36 inch range. And then the mower, it only basically has its, uh, its melee, uh, melee damage, no shooting there. Moving on to the durability of the Furtid Blow Drone, this is not point corrected. Here you see a variety of weapons from, let's say, some bolt rifles from enemy intercessors um, up to a desecrator or laser destructor. Uh, you see how many of those weapons would it take to kill one of, the, one of our units. For example, the Furtid Blow Drone, you would need, uh, you would need uh, 17 Plague Spewers uh, to, to, to kill it, or let's say six uh, Brigand Avenger Chain Cannons. Um, and, and here I'm comparing the Furtive Blow Drone with Toughness 9, then we have the, the Death Guard Predator, Toughness 10, more wounds. The War Dog, it, it also has a 5 plus invul and 12 wounds and Toughness 10. And the Plague Scroller, let's say, per, uh, not point corrected, more durable, of course, with a, a 2 plus save, the, our Plague Scroller. So, as a, as a model itself, it's not as durable as the Toughness 10 Demon Engines and our vehicle uh, the, the allied, uh, let's say, knights, but it can handle quite a lot of, of light enemy fire. For for 90 points, you will see also point corrected later on. Uh, it's a lot of durability for your points uh, that you can you can bring at the table. But you you can just uh, yeah if it's uh, if it's visible to the enemy, the enemy you can see for example three plague scorers with entropy cannons would take it out even without the mortar here. So it's not something that you just uh, keeping the open and it will survive everything. So for the for the uses and and the roles, it, it as we said, it's a fast unit with ten inch move. It can fly, so it can come over obstacles, and and it could be, be able to do actions if the map requires it. Uh, you can't expect it to. You can't just send uh, one of the blow drones to take out a heavy enemy unit. It will it will not go away. But I think the, the configuration with the speeder where you can do the overwatch and is, it's a deterrent for, for your enemy screening units, the infiltrators and chaff infantry, uh, that if, if your enemy, for example, forward deploys something, something small like nurglings or infiltrators, something like this, you could send the speeder drone to, to flame them, charge them maybe. If you can uh, keep them a little bit hidden and try to impact the enemy with your contagions, um, that it's it's a good it's a good uh, cheap way to spread the contagion to help your other units that you have maybe further back the plague scrollers or or brigands that can benefit from minus one save. Here I'm just showing a path for a, a potential a, a blow drone maybe flying close to the middle and then trying to hide it some behind some ruin to put some enemies in contagion here. Uh, remember the it's also very strong that the the blow drones can fall back, shoot and charge. Uh, then in that way, they can cover more ground. You can charge them at something. If it's not killed, next time you fall back, you could fall back, let's say, forwards. Then you can shoot again and charge another enemy, probably coming very close to the enemy line so that the rest of the units uh, will, will benefit. Finally, in this uh, table, I'm comparing all the the Fetid Blow Drone configurations per point comparison. Here you see um, the damage versus uh, the infantry, or the average of the damage versus infantry enemy units. I'm typically simulating the damage against vehicles. And then here you see also the durability index point corrected now. Everything here is, is point corrected. So because the, the Fetid Blow Drone is only 90 points, 
uh, its durability against heavy weapons is higher per point than the Plague Scrollers, the Mephitic Light Holders, the Brigand, and the Predators. The Predators in this, the, this index, uh, I just put the Predators at index 100, let's say, uh, so the the fitted blow drone is 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 better there. Uh, we see the the flesh mower drone compared to some of the other uh, vehicles here in this in this table. I don't include let's say the other vehicles that have very good melee, but it's it's stronger per point. The flesh mower gives good damage per point in melee. Uh, the speeders is is good as we saw mostly versus light infantry, and the blight launcher is not bad per point. But I think for long range shooting, it's better not to have in this uh, in this uh, platform, let's say, that's fast and probably is better to be close to the flanks and in the line. Uh, and if you compare here, we can see also the typically used units, the Plaver Scroller with either Speeders or Entropy Cannon and the Slugger. Uh, we have the Mephitic Light Holder. The Brigand is, is really strong, especially at 12-inch versus vehicles. The Predator Annihilator is also quite strong versus vehicles, as we can see here, and also at longer range. And the Predator Destructor, I will cover that in another video, is also really strong against infantry. So I'll try to, to make a video like this. Um, yeah. Reaching to the summary and final thoughts, uh, I think the Fertile Blood Drones are a cost-efficient, fast unit that can do... Uh, it can fly, it can do actions, it can spread your contagion, it can harass enemy units. The falling back, shooting and charging can make it move even further or more efficiently. It's, I think the current situation makes the, pro, the, the most useful configuration is to use the speeders. You have the auto hitting. Overwatch can be strong if the enemy is trying to move some screening stuff against you. If, if you can clear some of the screening lines so that something else can, can come up. You have the 12-inch threat range with the, with the speeders. The more drone would be good versus uh, marines, uh, marine equivalents, two wound models. There is no shooting there. So you get a little bit less use of it, probably in a typical game. The blight, the blight launcher drone again, some good long-range shooting versus marines, not so good against vehicles and so on. But yeah, as I said, I think right now the speeders would be the best, the best use. And as we saw also from many competitive lifts, they they typically include one, two, thirty blow drones to do this type of 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 work that I've been describing here. So this concludes the video. Uh, let me know what you think about the blow drones, if you are using them. Uh, if you have uh, any questions or comments, please add it. I always enjoy reading your comments and trying to reply to, to everything. Uh, also, if you have some suggestions for some videos you want to see. A very big special thanks to all my patrons and YouTube supporters for your continued support. And with these uh, words, uh, General Yanis signing out. Stay safe out there and bye-bye.